Hey guys, Misty here from The Joy Fed Elf. Welcome back to another video. So this orange box means that it's time for another paper pumpkin unboxing and alternative project. This kit had me a little stumped and I'll talk about that more than in just a second. If you're new to Paper Pumpkin, each month we get an ink spot, a um, exclusive stamp set, and then also the supplies to make whatever project Stampin' Up! has designed for us. And it's $19.95 a month and it's shipped right to your door. The only extra supplies you may need are scissors and an acrylic box, excuse me, acrylic block. If it's your very first one, you get the acrylic block in your box. So this month's kit is birthday cards and it's a slider birthday card, which is a really cool concept. They just lost me on the patterns they chose. So I want to show you um, different ways that you can use this kit beyond what comes with what it comes with because the possibilities are really endless just need your creativity. So I, um, if you subscribe to me, I send out alternative projects around the 8th of every month um, to give you an idea of other ways that you can use your kit. So here I'm showing you that it even comes with adhesive. Those are little tiny glue dots. I normally don't use those. Um, sometimes I will. I just tend to have an issue with them and it's totally user error. <laughs> So this came with supplies to make nine different projects. Here I am counting out the envelopes, but if I had just looked on the package, I probably would have realized that. <laughs> Three of each color. So if you want to see how to make the original project, you can head on over to um, Paper Pumpkin's channel on YouTube. It has a really quick video. Um, the instructions though are really easy to understand. It tells you on the back what it comes with and it also tells you the colors in the kit. I was really surprised that the ink spot was um, Island Indigo because I could have sworn it was Dapper Denim. <laughs> so this is where I go off screen and come back with all of the other products that I'm going to use for today's project. So here I'm showing you that I am using my full size Fleur de Flamingo pad. I take those little ink spots and give those to my little children's at work. And there I'm showing you a scrap piece of paper that I'm going to be using, but telling you not to pay attention to the little bunny and the little eggs. <laughs> That's a surprise for tomorrow. So I've cut a piece of thick whisper white and it measures four and a quarter by 11, scored it at five and a half. Um, you guys know that I love these top phone cards and I am going to be stamping the celebrate sentiment with this flirty flamingo ink. I decided to go with this sentiment because um, it's getting to be that time of year where people are graduating school or they're doing other things and um, you guys have probably seen me make you know five fifteen five ten fifteen birthday cards but this is probably one of my very first celebrate cards. So my kind of go-to layout when I'm not sure what to do with patterns is to do circles. So here I've pulled the one, the one and one quarter and the one and three eighths inch circle punches. And this is when I realized that I wanted one a little bit bigger. So that gold paper is actually flames. Um, you can kind of see that in the original um picture a few minutes ago but I decided I would use um, cut them out so here I've moved to the one and a half inch circle punch I've used the one and a quarter inch circle punch for the gold and then I'm using the one inch for this pattern excuse me and then I end up not using this pattern <laughs> my goal was to add, I didn't want a whole lot of pink right next door to the pink um, sentiment but I I just picked the wrong pattern. So here I'm going to go through several different <laughs> colors and punches and stuff before I get to the one that I like. So I still don't like that one, it's too much pink. <laughs> so I decided to pull in a little bit of the yellow and the white at the very top of this pattern paper. You'll see that in just a second. And I felt like that yellow would bring in the little bit, the yellow tone of the gold paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this layout going. I'm gonna use that one and a half inch circle right there. I'm gonna do a one and a quarter inch um, piece from, uh, 
First, I'm gonna do a one and a half piece for the other circle. In here, I'm showing you that I am cutting from the back. I am gonna get a little tiny piece that breaks off, but I'm able to cover it up, and you can see that there. So on that one, I'm gonna use a one and a half, one and a quarter inch solid cardstock, and then a one inch pattern cardstock. So once again, I'm like, I'm going to use this little one, and then I didn't. <laughs> like I said, this one was a little tough for me. I couldn't decide on the patterns I wanted. Um, I just had a little bit of a rough time. But it all worked out in the end, and I absolutely love this card now that I've done it. It was just getting there that was <laughs> a little on the challenging side. So I've decided to go ahead and punch a one inch circle from the Flirty Flamingo cardstock to add to that top one. There we go. So I am going to adhere all of the bottom circles down with a snail adhesive. Um, you could use tear and tape if you wanted to. Oh, I was blowing away the glitter. I was like, what happened? Blew away the glitter and then blew away my circles. Um, when you adhere on top of the glimmer paper though, you're gonna need to do it with a stronger adhesive. So either tearing tape or like I'm doing here, Stampin' Dimensionals. You may be wondering why I placed that so high. It's because I got a little bit of ink per usual. <laughs> So here I'm adding the one inch dot with dimensionals and I pretty much do that for every little grouping and um, although I do the patterned circle on this one with a dimensional and then I double stack them on the pink so we could have a little bit more dimension. And that's the card, didn't it turn out really really cute? I really, really love this. So one thing I mentioned in the live portion of this video is that if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber and there's ever a kit that you are questioning the sneak peek of, you can go into your account on my on Paper Pumpkin and skip a month. You're absolutely able to do that. If you're not a subscriber and you would like to be, you can go to the link in the description box down below to subscribe for a monthly kit or if you're interested in picking up a three, six, or 12 month kit to also get a celebration item, you can do that at my Stampin' Up! store. All right, guys, I think it turned out in the end. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow for an exciting announcement. Bye for now.